starting in 5 seconds learned counsel for the appellants would submit that there has been no fundamental breach of the policy conditions in this context we may profitably refer to the decision in c barathama where in a two judge bench squarely dealt with the absence of a permit and ruled that plying a vehicle without a permit is an infraction and insurer is not liable in lakshmi chand versus reliance general insurance the court was concerned with an order passed by the national consumer dispute redressal commission that had declined the relief to the petitioner therein the insurer in the sad case had taken the plea that the complainant had violated the terms and conditions of the policy for five passengers were traveling in the goods carrying vehicle at the time of the accident whereas the permitted seating capacity of the motor vehicle of the appellant was only 1 plus 1 the two judge bench referred to oriental insurance company limited versus meena and others and expressed the view that in order to avoid liability the insurer must establish that there was a breach on the part of the insured the obtaining fact situation is sought to be equated with the factual score in the sad case in this regard it is useful to refer to the bench decision in hdfc bank limited versus reshma and others the issue that arose bit before the court was whether the financer was liable to pay the compensation or it was the liability of the borrower the tribunal had returned the finding that the duty of the financer was to see that the borrower did not neglect to get the vehicle insured and therefore it was jointly and severally liable along with the owner the high court had concurred with the sad conclusion the court referred to purnaya kala devi versus state of assam and other that has dealt with the definition of the term owner as contained in section 2 bracket 30 of the act in the sad case the vehicle in question was under the requisition of the state of assam under the provisions of law in that context the court has expressed that the high court failed to appreciate that at the relevant time the offending vehicle was under the requisition of responding state of assam under the provisions of the assam act therefore respondent was squarely covered under the definition of owner as contained therein here the legislative intention in including in the definition of owner a person in possession of a vehicle either under an agreement or lease of lease or agreement of hypothecation or under a higher purchase agreement to the effect that a person in control and possession of the vehicle should be construed as the owner and not alone the registered owner the high court further failed to appreciate the legislative intention that the registered owner of the vehicle should not be held liable if the vehicle was not in his possession and control the high court also failed to appreciate that section 146 of the 1988 act requires that no person shall use the or cause 
or allow any other person to use a motor vehicle in a public place without an insurance policy meeting the requirements of chapter 11 of the 1988 act and the state government has violated the statutory provisions of the 1988 act be it noted in the said case the liability was fixed on the state keeping in view the legislative intention behind section 146 of the act no person shall use or cause or allow any other person to use a motor vehicle in a public place without an insurance policy as that is the mandatory statutory requirement under the act emphasizes was laid on possession and control of the vehicle and accordingly liability was fixed on the state of assam in hdfc bank limited the three judge bench opened that the hypothetical agreement did not convey that the appellant financer had become the owner and was in control and possession of the vehicle it was the absolute fault of the respondent number 2 to take the vehicle from the dealer without full payment of the insurance more so when nothing had been brought on record that the sad fact was known to the appellant financer or that it was done in collusion with the financer the court held that when the intention of the legislature is quite clear to the effect that a registered owner of the vehicle should not be held liable if the vehicle is not in his possession and control and there was evidence on record that the respondent number 2 plied the vehicle without the insurance in violation of the statutory provision contained in section 146 of the act the high court could not have got the liability on the financer and finally the financer was absolved of the liability in the case at hand it is clearly demonstrable on record that the vehicle at the time of the accident did not have a permit stop